perhaps no bird captures the beauty of the northern forest as the incredible gray jay. Their soft, beautiful features and the willingness of wild birds to actually collect a peanut from your hand makes them a favorite of all who travel north and hike in the winter forest. The gray jay stays with us all winter. Their survival technique is all about preparation. They create secret food caches in their habitat range. In some areas of North America, the gray jay's habitat actually overlaps with their cousin, the far more common blue jay. In the same beautiful forest where these two jays share their range, we begin our search for a mammal. It was early dawn on a cold winter's morning when we were lucky enough to have our first glimpse of a wild American pine marten. They're actually a smaller relative of wolverines and fishers, so they have a pretty interesting family. Normally, it would be very difficult to spot an elusive marten in the wild. However, during the winter months and in the backcountry, the odds are in your favor. They are amazingly agile, well adapted for an arboreal lifestyle, and capable of incredible bursts of speed. They're comfortable on the ground, but they can also use the branch highway, often used by squirrels, to travel from one network of trees to another. With razor sharp claws and impeccable balance, they're able to take advantage of surprisingly small branches in their continual search for food. Imagine the evolutionary benefit of being able to hunt high up in a tree like this. Not only can they see incredibly far when looking for their prey, they can also avoid their own predators. During warmer seasons, they behave more like an omnivore, including berries and vegetation and insects into their diet. But in the winter, they focus more on their predatory behavior. That'll include snowshoe hares, red squirrels, and any other species they can catch. Though generally solitary, as you can see here, there are times when you can see more than one marten. That's either a mating behavior or if there's an abundant food source. The American pine marten belongs to a family of mammals called Musilidae. Now, they have incredibly famous cousins. Imagine the honey badger, the wolverine. I mean, these species are known for their tenacious hunting behavior, which is probably why this gray jay is keeping a safe distance. While filming, we get a brief visit from another northern species, the beautiful ruffed grouse, just like the gray jays and martens. These birds have adapted to life in a cold climate. In a warming world, every species that lives in the north is going to be highly sensitive to climate change. Biologists have already recorded declines in their populations along the southern parts of their habitat. They're beautiful little characters and they need our help. Not every species that you'll find in the north is as sensitive to the current levels of global warming. In fact, the red fox has a massive range. Their territory spans all the way to the far south, so they're far less sensitive to current conditions. In the wintertime, a dash of color really helps. This is the incredible evening grosbeak. Now that was the male, here's the female. Another beautiful bird. In fact, many people confuse these for a totally different type of bird, but in fact, the males and females of the grosbeaks are very different. That distinctive call can only be the pine siskin seen here. The truth is, there's a myriad of life in the wintertime that can be found. You simply need to get out there and see it. Here is an entire family of evening grosbeaks. Against the snowy white background, the brilliant yellow and color definition on the male is truly beautiful. At close up, they're larger than you think, especially for a finch. A nature walk in our northern forest during the winter time is full of beautiful surprises. The truth is, all of us need to be stewards of the land. By spending time in these wild forests, we can connect with the other living species on the planet that we all share. Scientists predict the climatological changes in the coming years will impact all species, ourselves included. It has never been more important to connect with the world we share than it is right now. I'm Mark Frazier, and thank you for joining me on this virtual nature walk.